السلام علیکم دس از یور کمپیوٹر سائنس ٹیچر سر فوار اختر انصاری اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر اباؤٹ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے سولیوشن آف فری ریلیز مٹیریل مے جون ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ٹو اینڈ دا پیپر کوڈ از ٹوینٹی ٹو اوکے ناؤ وی سوئچ ٹو دا that your preparation for the examination should include attempting the following practical tasks by writing and testing a program or programs means we have to fully test our programs whatever we do in the algorithm or the pseudocode so what is the scenario is a program is needed to allow a wildlife park to sell tickets right A booking consists of one or more tickets for the same day or the days and can be made up to a week in advance. Means there is a wild park, wildlife park where uh, we need to visit with the family or in with a group of friends. So the wildlife park used to sell the tickets, right? And we have to do advance booking for the tickets. There are two options that we have to book our ticket for the one day and the two day. Now we go further. A booking can be made for a visit of one day or two consecutive days as I told you. A booking can have extra attractions included. What are the extra, extra uh, attractions? I will explain you. A booking will be valid for the days chosen only. Means if I need to go with my family or I want to go with my friends. So what I have to do, I have to do an advanced booking a week earlier before visiting a uh, park. So I need to know the charges first. The ticket type for the one adult, cost for one day $20 and the cost for two days $30. One child, an, include, uh, an adult may bring up two children. Means if uh, you are going with your child, so you have to pay for one child inclusive an adult may bring up to two children so it's of $12 and $18 one senior senior citizen $16 for one day and the $24 for a two days right now family ticket what the family consists of up to two adults or the seniors and the three children The cost for one day is $60 and the cost for two days is $90. Now group of six people or more is you are going with the friends. So price per person is $15 and the cost for two days is $22.50. So this is the cost for the one day and the cost for two days and the ticket type you can see here one adult, one child. An adult may bring up to two children, See, one senior citizen, family ticket up to two adults or seniors and the three children and a group of six people or more and the price per person is. So everything is mentioned here, cost for the one day and the cost for two days. So first of all, you have to memorize this part which is very much important. Now next part is extra attraction. What is the extra attraction and what is the cost per person? If you want to feed a lion, you need to pay $2.50 and, and if you want to feed a penguin, you need to pay $2 and if you want to do an evening barbecue, two day tickets only, means you have to buy for the two day tickets for the evening barbecue, so this is $5, so this is an extra attraction where you feed and enjoy with your family with the barbecue. So this is the cost per person here. Okay, now next is write and test a program. What we have to do? Your program or programs must include appropriate prompts for the entry of data, and the data must be validated on entry. That when you input the data, it must be validated, of course. All the outputs, including error messages, need to be set out clearly and understandably. Means the system will communicate with you. So the user must know what it is being required, what it is being asked. 
all the variables posted and other identifiers must have meaningful names of course we have to use the variables which have a meaning, meaningful name so we have to be very much careful regarding these requirements so there are three tasks traditionally task one display the ticket options and extra attractions available what we have to do we have to display the ticket option and the extra attractions available so we display the option right like options what are the options like we have to show the ticket type right that this is option one one added and we have to also show the price for one day and the for the price for the two day then option two is one child and uh, the adult may bring up to two children this is option two and the cost for one day and the cost for two day then this is option three one senior then this is a cost for one day and the cost for two days so we have to show the option one two three four five along with the cost for one day and the cost for two days besides that we also have to show the menu about the extra attraction that what is the extra extra attraction is line feeding and the cost per person is this then what is the extra attraction for the penguin feeding is a two dollar and this is the extra attraction along with the cost per person so we have to display it right for the one day and the two days show the days available for booking assume that there are tickets available for any valid day so this is the task one that we have to do what is the task two process of booking extend your program for the task one means okay, what will happen after task one so we have to process a booking how we will process a booking input the tickets and extra attraction required then calculate the total cost of the booking first of all we have to input the tickets information and the extra attraction it means the program will ask us with the help of option one two three four five option one option two option three option four option five it means we have to input the number of adult in we have to input the number of child we have to input the number of senior we have to input the number of family tickets and the requirement we have to put the group of people or the person when we put all these things uh, along with the extra attraction we also input the extra attraction like our program will ask the user okay do you want to feed a lion do you want to feed a penguin right and it will also show that do you want to do a party of evening barbecue so these are the inputs then we have to calculate the cost of the booking allocate a unique booking number you may allocate your booking uh, you should uh, allocate a unique booking number right display the booking details including the total cost and the unique booking number repeat as required means along with the booking number we have to display the uh, cost and the unique booking number as required now the task 3 ensuring each booking is the best value uh, each booking is the best value how we will ensure it check that the total for each booking gives the best value and offer an alternative if this is not the case like just check that the total for each booking gives the best value and offer an alternative if this is not the case means we have to also uh, do a sort of iteration that how we can uh, do the total bookings how can we check it and how can you offer an alternative right for example buying two family ticket is better than a group right for a group of 10 means if uh, I buying a two I'm buying a two family tickets right family tickets let me show you this is a family ticket for one day cost for one day $60 and the cost for two days is a $90 so the family ticket is $60 for one day so it is better than a group of ticket for a group of 10 that if there are 10 people and if I'm buying a ticket for the 10 people it will become above of course $15 but if I get a family ticket of two families that will um, be cheap for me right if we follow this scheme then the family ticket of two families would become um one twenty dollars right and if you buy this then it become 
of course price per person is for per person is fifteen dollar if there are five or six people then you may multiply five with the number of people so it will become costly for you so for example buying two family ticket is better than a group of ticket for a group of ten that includes four adults and uh, six children so it will also give the best value it will suggest us that what we what is the uh, good for us economically so this is a uh, task three so we have to follow the task one task two and task three step by step properly to make our program and inshallah in the next class i will uh, show you the solution of this previous material and uh, inshallah we will do it today's class is over thank you so much allah Hafiz.